You have some fig cuttings and now you need to orient them so you know which way's up. That little dot right there is called a node and you want that to be above the line that goes all the way around the cutting. Once you have that figured out, you're going to need a container, and I recommend using these clear cups that you can get at any local supermarket. Simply drill holes in the bottom for drainage, they're super cheap and effective. You can also use regular planting containers, however you're not going to be able to see those roots form and it's kind of a headache. You're going to need a nice potting mix, I recommend that you don't cheap out on this, get the good stuff, this is miracle Grow. You can see those little white dots in there. That's called perlite. It's for drainage. We actually want to go ahead and add more perlite. I got this bag at Lowe's for five or six dollars. It's going to last you a super long time. And you can see it's kind of like snow. And this is going to add a lot more drainage, which is going to be much better for our cuttings because water will kill your cuttings if you add too much. There's no exact ratio. Just mix it up until you see something like this. It looks like snow mixed with dirt. Next, we need to fill our cups up with the medium. Make sure those holes are drilled at the bottom of the cups, guys, because that's going to be key to success. We're going to want to fill our cups up all the way, and once we do, we're going to want to use our finger to poke a hole in the soil to make the cutting as easy as possible to put in, especially if you've used rooting hormone. I like to put at least two nodes into the soil for greatest chances of rooting success. If you can't get two full nodes in, that's okay, you'll still have success. Now we need to water our cutting in. This is very important as it's probably going to be the only time that we water this cutting throughout the entire process. Make sure you water thoroughly until water is dripping out of the bottom of the cup. Once the medium is watered thoroughly, we're going to place our cutting in a place of bright, indirect sunlight with a bag on top to preserve humidity. And anywhere between two to six weeks, you're going to start seeing those roots form. Make sure the roots fill the cups before you put them into larger pots.